Hey, what's up, Divine Ones? It's Latoya O'Keele. Welcome back to another video. If you are new to my channel, I'm a life coach, I'm a minister, and I'm also a business mentor. I train and certify women and men to become life coaches so they can work from home, drop them nine to fives that they hate, and create an income while making an influence. So if that sounds like you or something you might be interested in, make sure you click that subscribe button, baby. Go on, click that noti, that noti baby. <laughs> go and click that notify bell so you can get notified every time I drop a new video on the channel okay so on today's video y'all I just want to talk to you for a few minutes this is gonna be real quick just come on in real quick and get this word because listen this is what the Lord is giving me to speak to y'all today y'all have heard me speak about this before on the podcast if you're not following my podcast make sure you look me up divine destiny with Latoya podcast I spoke this word a few weeks ago, and this is what the Lord is saying again to y'all today, baby. There is a void in the earth that only you can fill. Do you understand what I'm saying to you? There's a void that only you can fill. There's a space in this earth that God sent you here to fill. There is a problem in this earth that God sent you here to solve. You the only one that can solve it. You the only one that can fix it. Your existence, you being here right now, you watching me on this video right now, that's proof. That is evidence that God has something for you to do here because let me tell y'all something about God. God is a God of purpose. God is not a just cause type of God. He don't do stuff just cause, just cause he felt like it or just cause that, that's what he wanted to do. God is a strategic God. God is a God that plans. God is a God of purpose. Jeremiah 29 and 11, one of my favorite scriptures, the, the, the scripture says, for I know the plans that I have for you, declares the Lord. The key word in that scripture in reference to what I'm saying right now is plans. The Lord has a plan for you, baby. Do you understand me? Even when you ain't got no plan for yourself, God has a plan for you. And he knows the plans that he has for you. He has plans to prosper you. He has plans to bless you. God say, I don't want to harm you. Listen, God is speaking to y'all today. God say, I don't care nothing about what you done did. I don't care nothing about what you done said. If you're still here right now, if you got breath in your lungs, come on somebody. If you got a heartbeat, I came to tell you today that the Lord still has need of you. And God say, I have need of you in the kingdom. There is much need of you. I know many of you, you done been the underdog. I came to speak to some underdogs today, baby. Many of you, you have been the underdog. You done been the one that they done overlook. You the one that they been sleeping on. You the one that they been pushing to the side. You the, you the one they been throwing up under the bus. You the one they been picking all over you. Uh-huh. But the Lord say, baby, that I have need of you. And let me tell y'all something about God. God has a way of coming through recycling everything that man said was no good. Oh, I'm talking to somebody. Everything that man threw away, God say, I still have need of it. And God say, I created it so I still see some good in it. And I'm still able to use you. I'm speaking to somebody today that been that done, that done went through a divorce. Somebody that went through a, a, a bad breakup, a bad relationship. And you have been left to feel like you not wanted, you not loved. I hear the Lord say that I love you. God say, I want you. And God say, I still have need of you. I hear the Lord say, be not conformed to this world. Do you understand me? He said, be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. The Lord is calling for you to transform your mind in this season. See, when you transform your mind, then and only then will you know what is the good and acceptable and perfect will of God. That's what the scripture says. In Romans 12 and 2, that's what the scripture says. Glory be to God. Y'all got to excuse my voice now because I've been doing a lot of talking and my voice sounding a little raspy. I got to get back on my green tea. So y'all got to excuse my voice now. But y'all get the word, get the message from this. Because the Lord say, I got need of you. I don't care. I don't care what they called you. Many of y'all, you probably done went through some of the stuff I done, same stuff I done went through. You done had people call you all up out of your name, call you everything but a child of God. But I came to tell you, baby, that what they call you, that's not what you are. Just like they said, it ain't what they call you, it's what you answer to. Come on now. And the Lord say, baby, he said, I need you to wake up to your identity. I need you to wake up to your true divine self. Why? Because you are a divine one. That's why you on this channel right now. That's why you watching me right now. God has need of you. 
when your friends throw you away. Y'all listen to me. When your family members throw you away. God say, I will send in my spirit. The Bible says that when the enemy comes in like a flood, that the spirit of the Lord will lift up a standard. I see God lifting up a standard on y'all situations. I see God lifting up a standard on your marriage. I see God lifting up a standard on that relationship. He's lifting up a standard in your home today with your finances, with your children, with your health. Come on now. Even though the enemy has come in like a flood, God has sent in his spirit today. I feel the power of the living God today. Woo! God say, I have sent in my spirit to make you like new. God is breathing on y'all today. God is blowing his spirit on y'all today. Glory be to God. I speak it before the nations today that the Lord still has need of you. I don't care what kind of pig pen, what kind of hog pen you done found yourself in, baby. God still has need of you. Let me tell you something. You can't never get so low that God can't reach down and get you. Just like the song say, baby, if you have to reach way down, Jesus will pick you up. Glory be to God. Jesus will pick you up, baby. I don't care if he got to dig in the trash can. What I told y'all on that live I did the other day. I don't care. God said for some of y'all, you way down in the trash can. And the Lord say, I didn't have to dig. And dig and dig and dig. God been digging for a long time. But I hear the Lord say, I don't care how long it take. God said, I'm going to dig and I'm going to dig. Why? Because you are my child. You belong to God, baby. You belong to God. Many of you, you felt like I, you probably feel like how I used to feel. Like you didn't belong to nothing. Like you didn't belong to nobody. You felt like didn't nobody want you. You feel, you probably feel like that today. You feel like don't nobody want you. Can't nobody treat you like you're supposed to be treated. Come on now. The Lord say that I have need of you. I hear God say, take the broken pieces of your heart and bring it to me. Oh God, I thank you today. Listen, I need to talk to my broken hearted folks. The Lord say, get the broken pieces of your heart, baby. God say, many of you, the enemy done mishandled you, done fumbled you, done broke you, and you done shattered into a million pieces. But I hear the Lord say, show me where you laid it. Come on now. God say, show me where you laid it today. It's some things in y'all that's dead. Come on now. But I hear the Lord say, show me where you laid it today. Just like Jesus told him about Lazarus. He said, show me where you laid him. Glory be to God. God getting ready to speak to some of y'all today. Come on now. I hear the spirit of the Lord say, come forth. Oh, I hear the spirit of the Lord say, loose her and let her go. Come on now. Loose him and let him go, devil. That's my child. And you done had him long enough. I see the devil with his foot on y'all neck. But when you get this word today, baby, God said you're going to rise up with a new strength. God say for some of y'all, you're going to have to keep playing it. Keep playing it over and over and over, baby. Even though they tell you you're crazy. Even though they tell you you might well stop. You ain't going nowhere. You ain't getting ahead. Forget them folks. And God said keep on playing it over and over and over because it is the repetition of the word that's going to break you free. Glory be to God. It is the repetition, baby. That's how you transform your life, through repetition of new information. And the Lord say, as y'all keep coming on this channel, baby, that's why the Lord has positioned me to bring y'all the word, bite, the bite, the bite, the bite, the bite, every day. Because the Lord say, you need that. You need that repetition, baby. That's the only way you're going to be able to change. Let me tell y'all something. God know what you need when you need it. Oh, understand, God is in control, baby. God is in control and God say divine plan is in full effect because he knows the plans that he has for you. God got plans to bless you and prosper you. And God say no devil in hell can stop you. You know who the only person that's strong enough to stop you? You. It's you versus you, baby. It ain't you versus the devil. It's you versus you. And I came to tell you that God needs you, baby. God needs you. God has need of you. You think you're the only one sitting around here just in need of God. God needs you. God has work for you to do. Come on now. Glory be to God. But God said, I need you to position yourself. I need you to get rid of them folks that ain't supposed to be in your life. Come on now. I need you to turn that TV off. I need you to turn that no good music off. The Lord say, I need you to, I need you to position yourself and get an alignment so I can use you. And God say, I'm going to bless you, baby. He said, I'm going to bless you so good. You ain't never seen nothing what God finna get ready. You ain't never seen nothing like this, baby. What God finna get ready to take you into. Do you understand me? I'm talking about new levels. Ooh, I'm talking about new realms. Ooh, I'm talking about new dimensions, baby. New blessings like you ain't never seen before. God say, I'm going to break these generational curses off of you. Come on now. And God said, you're going to build generational wealth. You're going to leave a legacy behind, baby. But you got to position yourself. You got to get in alignment with the blessing. Get in alignment with what God got for you so he can use you. Because I don't care how gifted you are. If you don't align yourself and position yourself. 
God cannot use you. Now, God has need of you, but you got to do your part too. Come on, somebody. You got to do your part. I don't care what man has said about you. I don't care how man done threw you away. God still has need of you. I love y'all so much. I am Latoya O'Kill to all of my aspiring life coaches. If you aspire to be a coach, I want you to click the link in the description and join my free life coaching 101 masterclass where I break down the basics of coaching. And I also offer a certification course to train and certify you to become a life coach. If you're interested in that, I would love to work with you. I would love for you to join. If you have any questions or concerns about the course, make sure you come over to Instagram. Follow me at I am Latoya O'Kill. DM me in the inbox on Instagram any questions or concerns that you have about the course and I will get that message back to you because I want you in your purpose. I need you to understand that God still has need of you. And if you believe that the Lord has called you to the lane of life coaching, baby, let's get it. Let's do it. It's time to activate beast mode, baby. We ain't got no time to waste because God has need of you. God don't care what you done been through. Let me tell you something. Man is the one that can't never forget what you did. God say, I will take your sins and I will throw your sins into the sea of forgetfulness and I will remember them no more. God ain't stunned by what you did. It's them folks out there that ain't going to never let you forget your past. But God ain't worried about what you did, baby. God is only concerned that you get up and you get in your purpose. All things. All things work together for the good to them that love God and to them that are called according to his purpose. Baby, because you got a purpose on your life, everything that you could ever find yourself tangled up in, it is the law. It is the divine law of God that it's got to work for your good. I don't care how many children you had. I don't care how many broken relationships you've been in. I don't care how many sicknesses you got in your body. I don't care how negative your bank account is. It's got to work for your good. Why, baby? Because you got a purpose on your life. Come on now. God has called you. I'm speaking to somebody today. That's why the Holy Spirit still got me lingering on this video because I'm speaking to somebody. God is striving with somebody today. The Lord said, come out from among them, baby. I have called you out. He said, be ye separated. Stop trying to fit in. Stop trying to be like them folks, baby. When God is has, God has need of you, God is calling you out from the crowd. You got something in you that the crowd ain't got. You know I'm telling you the truth. You feel it and you know it. It resonates with your spirit. The Lord said you got something in you. You got something special in you, baby. I love when Les Brown say that. He said you have something special. You have greatness within you. Glory be to God. That's what I'm telling y'all on this video today. That's why you on here. You know how many channels it is on YouTube? I need y'all to get this. Do you know how many folks got channels up here on YouTube? Have you ever stopped to wonder how in the world you ended up on this channel? Listening to this old country girl? Come on now. Have you ever wondered how you, how you landed up on here? That's because it's something that the Lord has called you to do. And he's put me in a position to pull it out of you. I'm drawing it out of you, baby, like you draw water out of well. The Lord say, draw it out of baby. God says, stir up every guilt. That's what he made me for, baby. That's what he created me for. And that's what he positioned me here in this season to do, is to pull everything out of y'all that the devil tried to bury. God says, stir it up. And God said, pull it out of them so they can, so they can get in their purpose and they can work for me. It's time for you to work for God, baby. It's time for you to work for God. God going to be your CEO. Come on now. Because the Lord got need of you. God said, when are you going to quit fooling around with them folks out there and come do what I made you to do? Glory be to God. I love y'all so much. I am Latoya O'Kill. Don't forget to come and follow me on Instagram now at I am Latoya O'Kill. Make sure y'all come follow me and DM me if you got any questions or concerns about the course. So we can get it ironed out and we can get you in your purpose. Okay? I'll check in with y'all later.